So in this video, I am going to show you how to back up your site using Duplicator. And for this video, I assume you know how to get into your cPanel. If you don't, you can contact your host provider. Mine is host, uh, SiteGround, and yours may be Bluehost or uh, HostGator, any one of those other ones, hundreds of them, I guess. So once you get into the back and your, or the cPanel of your WordPress, not your WordPress, your hosting site, you just scroll down to where it says File Manager, okay? And you're gonna op you can open that in a new tab if you want. Okay, so I'm in File Manager. The site I'm gonna back up is gonna be called Dogs Need Care, and these are all my files in the site. Okay, and we're just gonna take a look at the site. This is what it looks like now. Okay, so it's just a basic site. And we're just gonna back it up, and then we're gonna destroy it, and then we're gonna reinstall it. So the best way to do that is let's go back here. Is to you can use a plugin called Duplicator. Okay, but before we use that plugin, let's do one thing here. That's um, we're going to back up three files. Okay, um, we're going to back up this little guy here. We're going to we're going to you we can well we can either we can either open this up and just copy the files or back it up. So for sake of uh, let's just uh, edit this. Let's just go code edit. Okay, for sake of simplicity, I guess. Okay. So in here, you can see there's uh, there's a few important files we need, and that is the um, the name of the database, the database user, the database password, the host name. Host name is usually localhost for most host providers, so we need those pieces of information. Okay, so let's grab those, copy that. So we don't really need this whole file, and we're just going to paste it into. Um, Oh, I guess I've done that before. But let's just do it again, right, just, so, just so you see that it's done afresh. Okay, so this is what we need. We need. We want one more thing on here. Let's go down to the bottom. Let's scroll down, not right to the bottom, but near the bottom. There's this little guy. Table prefix. Let's copy that one. And just so we have a record of a few of the important things here. Because uh, one thing I found out is once we use the plugin duplicator and back everything up, it leaves these blank. It leaves these blank. It, take, it takes them out. Maybe if it's a security reason or something, but it just takes them out. Okay. So this is why I either want you to back up this. Um, let's close that. Either you back up this file that we're just in, wp.config, uh, and you, um, or you just do what, what I did. Like so, backing up, you would just. Uh, as a matter of fact, we'll do that right now. Um, we'll just save it. I guess we'll just save it. So where's my download here? Download right. Okay. So we're calling this duplicator backups. Um, and I've already previously done some of this backup already, but I'm just going to show you. Okay, so we've made a folder called Dogs Need Care. Okay, so you can create this folder anywhere. This is just for your backup on your hard drive. And I'm going to save this here. So I or the reason I got two folders is I did I was doing this before. And so just to save time, we have our zip file down here and our installer file. You're going to see in a second where I get those from. Okay, so save it. Done. Okay. Now, let's just double check uh, stuff here. Okay, there's a duplicate backups, dogs need care. Okay, there it is. It's right here. That's our file that we just saved. So I can also open it up here and add it with a notepad if I wanted to. And it'll have the same information that we just were looking at. These. Okay, so we don't really need that now. Um, but now we're going to go back and we're going to install duplicator. So. What does our site look like? As I mentioned, this is our site, right? So we're going to get into the um, back end of WordPress. And by doing that, you just um, you type in wp-admin, okay, and hit enter. And then you got to enter your username and password. And I guess mine was already in there, so um, that's why I just jumped right away because I was already logged in. So you just enter your normal WordPress username and password to get into the back end. Now we got to look for install plugins, okay? Let's make sure we have duplicator here, okay? Now, it looks like we already have Duplicator installed, but what if we didn't? So, if you didn't have Duplicator, you'd go Add New, and you just type the word Duplicator, and hit Enter, of course, and there it is. This is it, but ours is already active, so you'd normally just go and click, uh, this button would say Install Now, and then you'd click Active, and then it would be, it would, you know, that it would, be, it would show up here then, it would show up on the side. So, if it sh once you have it, you'd click here, Duplicator, okay, and then we've got to, um, Back up our site, essentially. Okay, so create new. Okay. And 
it's already kind of pre-populated, but yours may and it may not. I have, I just, you can name this anything you want. This is the date that I'm doing it. It's uh, June 19th, 2020. So that's fine. So then I hit next. I thought I hit next. Okay, it's just taking a bit of time there. Okay, so everything looks okay. Sometimes you might get a few warnings and sometimes they're, they're just telling you maybe some files are too big or or you just warning that you have a lot of them. So our site is 121 megs. I want to point out with Duplicator, maybe you can only back up to 500 megs. So if you end up with that problem, you're going to either have to buy their paid version of Duplicator that's a yearly subscription, or you can take a look below this video and you're going to see some um, methods to do manual backups that won't cost you a penny. And you can uh, make, you know, you can back up really big sites. So that's the nice thing about doing it manually. But this might be easier in some way, quicker maybe for something. But okay, so now I build the backup file. Okay. It shouldn't take too long. It's pretty quick. Done. Okay. So now I would just install the. I would download by clicking this and this to my computer. But I've already done that. To save us some time. As I showed you, they're right here. These are the two files: the zip and the installer. This one, uh, I don't need. I'm just going to delete that. That I, I'm, I unzipped it on my uh, computer, but I don't. We don't need that. It's just to avoid confusion, let's delete that folder. And. Um, it's a while to delete a folder, right? And let's see what's going on here. I think it's only, yeah, it's almost done there because it's just over 100 megs, 127 megs. Okay. So now uh, let's go back and let, we have everything we need now, okay? So let's go back into the file manager of our host right here. Make sure we're in the same URL, dogsneedcare.com. We want to wipe out everything. So big catastrophe happened. We lost all our information. Let's delete it all. Okay, so we're trying to sim we're not just showing you how to back up. Most uh, training doesn't show you how to recover, and you kind of know how to do that because it's pretty useless having a backup if you don't know how to use it. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to upload those two files that I said we need. Okay, here's the file. Okay, and we are going to get this one here first. It's the installer. Open it. Okay, it's done. And get the next one. Click it. Open. Okay, done. Okay, now we have the two files. You can see them showing up already here. Um, yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the reinstall process. So how do we do that? Well, it's with this installer file. That's what Duplicator produces. So all we got to do now is go back to the site. Now, if you rem if you look at this, okay, here, because now the site is dead. Let's go back to the main site. So I want to verify that the site is dead. Let's hit enter. See, there's nothing on this site now. Okay, this is what was there before. If I reload this, it'll die too. This is what we had, but this is what we have now. So if I reload this, you'll see there's nothing there. You see? Okay, so how do we get it back? Well, we type in a few things here. We're going to type in wp admin, right? Enter. Boom. Uh, sorry, not wp admin. Installer. PHP. Okay, because that's the installer file that we have. Now we hit options. I usually keep everything the same, like with the original here. It's the only thing I usually change. And I've read the instructions. And then hit next. So the default settings is what I usually go with. Okay, so now we got to fill up this information. So most hosts are going to, the host name is localhost, but you might want, if in case you have, uh, you know, some strange hosts that uh, use a different name, uh, you may want to check with them. Okay, uh, so now. Remember, I told you the WP config file has some important information. Well, we saved it, like we have it here, right? So all we got to do is copy it over. So this is the main thing that you'd want to save. Um, there are ways uh, of getting this information if you didn't save it, but uh, if you s save that file too, as, as I mentioned in your back post, it's going to make life easier for you. Okay, so uh, let's copy this one first without the quotes. Okay, that's my um, database name. So let's copy that. Database name, paste it right in there. Okay, and now we just need the user and password. Let's go get that one. The user is this one here. Okay, and yours will be different, of course. Paste it, and let's get the password. What was the password here? Only dogs. Okay, copy that. Paste it. So I think I've got everything here, right? So now we can test it to see if we've done everything right. Good, pass, pass. And all that means is that uh, all 
these ones exist in our database. So now what could happen in, in, in the whole process if something really just drastic happens to your site? All that, this could be gone off your site, even these um, database and user. In that case, you'd have to go back, and I'll show you that later, you'd have to go back into um, to your uh, cPanel and, and just generate new ones. You'd have to generate a new database, a new user, a new password, and then you could, you'd enter what you generated into these fields here. I'm going to show you that at the very end there, just um, in case that ever happens too. This is in case you just lost, you know, this, so that would, be this, that would be the worst case scenario. You even lost your database and everything like that, okay? Um, see, it's just the names that we're worried about because we still have all the information, right? So, okay, so we're going to hit OK. And it's going to restore our site. And this was an old name. I should, I can change this. doesn't matter. I'm going to put dogs need care. You won't normally have to do this. Um, okay, now next. I think we're good. Admin login. Okay. Um, we, should, we can probably actually see our site right now if I reload this. Let's see. Yeah, see our site's restored already. And the admin login, well, that'll, that'll all be the same. And I should mention the admin login is, is the same password you had before, okay? It's the same password you had before. So, um, if you, you know, so now that's, um, you can always change it once you're logged in and stuff. But, um, what I, I want to, what I was going to show you is, uh, as I mentioned, what if you had a really big disaster that uh, you lost even the names of your database and everything was gone? And remember, because we got everything back up, they're just really kind of, you can consider them just as really names, but we got to recreate them in order for it to be useful. So how would you do that? You'd come back into your cPanel, which I'm in. You'd go down to what's called, um, did I pass it? Yeah. You'd go down here, I asked you all databases. Let's open that in a new window. You would go into here and simply you would just name, uh, create any kind of database name you want here. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, why don't I do it? Okay. Uh, we'll just say new, new database. Okay. Okay. Just upgrade the database. Okay. So it's done it. Go back. And then what we're going to do is go down here. I have these users, right? I pre, I, I've, so if you probably have some users, but if you don't, you can make a new user too. So we'll just say new user okay and we'll just say new password <laughs> okay and again we we'll just have to do it again new password okay good and then we can create user and then there's one more step so what we've done now we've got let's go down to the bottom yeah okay so now we've created a new user right here however we've got to assign this user to the new database we've created so how do we do that it's the, the users are up here in the databases here. You just um, say select a, a new user, and we're going to select to the new database. We we'll find it. I get it down here. Uh, there it is, new database. See, so now we're going to hit the add button. So what this is going to do is going to send me to another screen, and I've got to grant all the privileges. Just that new user can do all this editing now. Now we got to make the changes. Boom, done. You see, we've done. We just created a database with a user. So go back and it'll show up. If I type in, it's in here, but it might be on my last page. Let's just type in the word new because it had the word new in it. And, oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. I got to go down here. New. Okay, let's search for our database there. There it is. Okay, this is our, our database. It's this full name here. David's 50 underscore new database. That's our name of our new database. And this is the new user. Okay. And we already know the new password was called new password because we assigned that. So that's in case you have a problem where you lose absolutely everything and you're sort of, you know, starting from absolute scratch, you would want that field back uh, in duplicator where it asks you for the database, username, password, local host name, that's where you'd enter all that in, okay? Um, and so that's, that's all there is really to um, restoring everything and like backing up and restoring, okay? Um, everything else should take care of itself if you did it this way. And uh, so I'll, in the next video, I'll make uh, a backup, how to backup with another plugin. It's called Up, Updraft. It's a very popular one as well. And uh, give you the steps involved with that. But for now, this, this should uh, help you out if you're backing up sites that are under 500 megs. This, this will help you. And, and so take a look underneath because I have some manual, you know, like manual backup processes that allow you to go really big. You can go any, any size, I believe. And, uh, so that's all there is, and check out some other links there below. I have some other resourceful links and some freebies there below, and don't miss out. 
And don't forget to like and uh, click the notification bell, and I'll, you'll see all my new videos coming out with some uh, other information on uh, WordPress. I think I have some WordPress courses too below there. Uh, this link I'm going to add in if you want some more information on learning WordPress and getting deeper into it. And there should be some links below. And so thanks for watching, and have a great day.